For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. So we are going to configure the few users, create the few users on the Nagios core and provide them the access. So I'm going to create two users here. One is read-only user and one is an admin user and a read-only user should have the read-only access to the web console and uh, admin should have the admin access. So let's see that. So I'm just cat that file slash your star local Nagios etc. SD password is the database file. So it's Nagios admin is exist. Uh, now I'm just creating the new user using the httpassdd command. And I say the username is mon underscore read only. And it will asking for the password and read up the confirmation password. So now just again cat that file and see. So both the users exist, not just admin and mon underscore read only is exist. Now I'm just going to create one more user called admin and provide the password and confirm the password. So now three users exist in this um, Nagios. Now provide the access to that user. So go to slash user local Nagios slash etc cgi dot cfg where this is the web configuration file. So come all the way down where you see this uh, user configuration. Come down, come down, come down. Otherwise you can also look, uh, search for the Nagios admin user. So that by default user is Nagios admin. So I'm what I'm doing is that I'm adding wherever the admin is, Nagios admin is there, I'm adding admin. So comma separated value, the user should be have to add. Um, and I'm adding authorized for read only user is mon underscore read only. So this is the one. And I say that authorized to see all these uh, uh, services and host. Otherwise, uh, the user cannot see anything. Okay. So I'm adding here authorized for all services, authorized for all host. Now save this configuration file and uh, restart the Nagios service. System CTL restart Nagios. So it should take effect. Now go back to the console, log into the uh, Nagios console and log in with the read only user mon underscore read only and provide the password and sign in and you can see go to the host and click on any of the services you can see that click on the service you can see that there is no permission to see this command so the user cannot submit any command so you can only see that host and service and uh, their status okay so read only is working fine so now let's log out from this so there is no logout i have to close the browser window and reopen the browser window and log in again back with the admin user and provide the admin password now go back to the any services and see the service you can see that the service commands are available to submit for the admin user so that's the difference between the read only user and the admin user how you can create and provide the access on the not just console that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses if you want to join the uh, whatsapp group the link is given below on the description click on the link and join the whatsapp group for connecting with more technical people